of what your future is for. I wish you all to have a great time there. Uh, uh, first of all, I would like to introduce myself. I'm the former president of Turkish Future Society. Now I'm the president and founder of NGM Future Planning Center and the president of Future Association Consultancy Board. So, as a futurist from Turkey, I'm very pleased to please be with you there today. Thanks to Hologram Technology and all people behind this great gathering and many other wonderful technological discoveries. Since this event is focusing mainly on cost oil economy and think about the implications for today's action, I would like to start with some words of futurist James Canton. He says, the stone age did not end for lack of stone, and oil age did end long before the world runs out of oil. Yes, I think we are so close to the end of oil age, as Mr. Canton said, and I strongly agree with that. And uh, believe that, and I foresee that, humanity is just an age of a transformational energy age. And I would like to continue with a story out of Mr. Lucia Kaput's book. He, is, he, he tells about some story. And he says that the stars were the energy sources of the gods when Apollo looked across the sky in a cavalry drawn by five red horses. He illuminated the heavens and the earth with the infinite power of the sun. His power was rivaled only by the old Zeus himself. Once, when Smell, one of Zeus's numerous mortal lovers, back to see him in his true form, he reluctantly obliged and the resulting burst of blinding cosmic energy burst Indeed, in this century, we will harness the power of the stars, the energy source of gods. In the short term, this means usually in an era of solar hydrogen power to replace fossil fuels. But in the long term, it means harnessing the power of fusion and even solar energy from outer space. Of course, we will never totally run out of oil. New pockets are being found all the time, but the cost of extracting and refining these will gradually skyrocket. We will all know and can calculate this. As soon as the magic source, energy storage and delivery issue on behalf of the new renewable energy sources, for sure will be in another global system. If that is the case, it is so obvious that the societies and economies who are dependent to all this should immediately consider to change their whole strategies and future plans accordingly. Due to all dependent in the infrastructure of the global system and politically more volatile regions of the world, for sure we have to go along along with all dependent energy solutions for some more time. But due to rising cost of all dependent systems, negative effects on world's food supply, environmental problems, demographic changes, the rise of middle class in China and India, development in African societies, uh, we, we have to consider these things from scratch. But it seems that history is repeating itself. Finally, I would like to say that we are just about to end an edge of transformational energy. The question being asked in the halls of governmental and governments and industries is what will replace oil? There is no clear answer yet. In the near term, there is no immediate replacement fossil fuels. And there most likely will be an energy mix with no one form of energy dominates other. But the most promising successor is solar hydrogen. Most promising successor is solar hydrogen power based on renewable technologies like solar power, hydroelectric power, and hydrogen. Yes, we have a great homeworks. 
and lots of things to do for a sustainable future. I strongly agree with that. We are all together, capable enough to solve all these issues on behalf of humanity. Before I finish my words, I would like to announce that, starting from this year, we as Turkish futurists assign every 1st of March as Future Day to celebrate the wonders and possibilities, possibilities of future. So, I invite you all, all of you, to the next year's Future Day in Istanbul on 1st of March 2014. Please write down 1st of March as World Future Day and celebrate it even if you cannot come to Istanbul. It was a great honor for me to share this precious minutes with you. Thank you very much for listening to me. Have a great time there. Happy to be Istanbul and Bye. Bye.